Maine is known for so many things, including our great Maine sourced food. Two of the most abundant, potatoes and lobsters. Researchers at the University of Maine are looking for new ways to repurpose discarded lobster shells and are studying a possible link between those carcasses and keeping potato fields healthy. New Center Maine's Caroline LaCour spoke with researchers about the project. Reducing waste and bridging industries. That's what researchers at the University of Maine hope to accomplish with a new project. The most interesting thing is that um, the waste stream. There's a lot of opportunities. With potatoes and lobsters as two of Maine's top commodities, researchers are looking to see how leftover lobster shells can be used to combat soil-borne diseases affecting potatoes. For the potato industry, it's a great opportunity to have a local, locally sourced fertilizer um, that could have disease suppressive properties. So it's really a win-win. According to researcher and graduate student Katie Ashley, the special ingredient is chitin, found both in lobster shells and in potato pathogens. She says introducing the rich shells to the soil may act as a sort of probiotic for the plant. Fungi make overwintering structures, these like rigid structures to protect themselves from, you know, winter conditions out of chitin as well. The team hopes to use their data to support growth for other uses. UMaine student Ross Sousa says similar tests for other plants have found pretty successful results in the past. There has been other studies and other uh, crops, whether it be crab shell meal or lobster shell meal, that was done in things like broccoli or uh, cauliflower. While potatoes are what we're working with, there's certainly opportunity for many other, I mean, there's a Almost every plant has a some sort of pathogen that's soil borne. While the two are confident with their preliminary findings, they hope to continue their research throughout the upcoming year. In Orno, Caroline McCor, News Center, Maine.